What is up guys, I do hope you're well. My name is Mark and today we're covering some more r slash am I the butthole. If you want to skip the initial waffle, timestamps are in the description below and along the timeline. But if you are new here, please consider hitting that like, that subscribe and maybe that notification bell too, as it already helps out our channel. And if you want to join on YouTube membership or Patreon, you can do that also. Yesterday we had another new member over on Patreon. We had Auntie Christ, or is it Auntie Christ? either one thank you very very much for joining us yesterday you are truly truly appreciated as well as everyone as i always say for taking the time to sit there and listen to me comment and all that sort of stuff it really does mean the world to me and i really really appreciate it i'm always trying to answer all of your questions and as many as i can down in the comments below i'm sort of short on time just lately so i apologize if i've been lacking on that just a bit but i am reading every single one so thank you for that support and let's get into today's stories. Much love guys. Our first story comes from a throwaway older bro. Am I the arsehole for cutting my elderly parents off financially after they kicked out my gay brother? Throwaway because a lot of my friends use Reddit. I'm a 24 year old software engineer originally from an Arab Muslim country. I moved to the United States with my parents when I was five years old and my younger brother was born here. He is now 16. A year ago my brother came out to me as gay. It wasn't a surprise to me, I've always been very close to my brother. We grew up in a majority white town and my brother was picked on frequently as a kid for being Arab. And on top of that, he's always been very shy and quiet. So I was the number one person my brother confided in while growing up. I've known he was gay for years, but I let him tell me when he felt comfortable. When he told me I was obviously completely supportive, I told him I would always love him and support him and I couldn't wait to see my brother-in-law someday, jokingly. My brother cried and hugged me. Our parents, however, are very, very homophobic. I know you guys in America have experience with homophobia too, but trust me when I say you have no idea the extent of it in fundamentalist Muslim countries. My parents are in their 70s and are both retired. They spent most of their careers back in their home countries and never built any savings in America due to financial strains. We live in their house, but I'm the primary breadwinner and I make good money as a software engineer. My job isn't the one that requires me to be physically at work, so I have fortunately avoided any negative financial effects from the pandemic. Yesterday, my brother decided to come out to our parents. Obviously, this wasn't an impulse decision, but something he spent a lot of time deliberating over. Our parents did not react well. They refused to have anything to do with him anymore and disowned him. Not only that, they kicked him out of their house. He's been staying with one of his friends. My parents refused to change their minds no matter what, and knowing the traditions of the people around us where we came from, I don't think they ever will. In response, I told my parents I will no longer be financially supporting them. I've contacted some apartment companies and have decided to move out with my brother. I make good money so I can afford a two bedroom apartment for us, no problem. I did not think this would be a controversial move, but our relatives, even those in America, have been blowing up my phone telling me I'm an asshole for cutting off my elderly parents during a pandemic. My response is they kicked out my brother during a pandemic. I'm not leaving him on the streets no matter what, but even more so during a pandemic. So Reddit, am I the arsehole? Now I'm sort of, kind of can guess this is gonna go not the arsehole anyway, but I always find these stories so interesting. And it's, it's so sad that it's got to this stage where the parents are kicking him out and it's just ridiculous. So well done to this big brother for sticking up for his brother for coming out as gay and supporting him all the way. You know, his parents made this bed now they have to lie in it with that bullshit view. And it's not even like this person is kicking his parents out. He's just leaving and moving out with his brother. So it's just the financial support, which they're obviously relying on now and just got used to. And these parents decided to kick out a 16 year old in a pandemic. So they have, they have nothing to complain about. This is on them in my opinion. But let's go to the comments below to see what we can find. Abinio says, not the arsehole, if they can kick out your 16 year old brother out during a pandemic, you can get out of there too. It's not like you're kicking them out of their home, you're just leaving. They couldn't expect you to live with them and support them forever, especially if they're going to pick and choose when their own child deserves their love. Yagachan says, not the arsehole, and if anyone complains, tell them you're following your parents' example, you're cutting off the people you disagree with, since they set such a wonderful example. Then KLS says, I have the finances to support one household, Previously, our family resided only in one household. My parents made the choice to kick out my brother, splintering that household from one into two. He cannot afford this second household, and because I don't believe in an abandoning family, I will be supporting the new household in my family. As a result, I can no longer support the old one. 
The choice to split our family's household from one into two was my parents and not my brothers. So it's only fair that they live with the financial consequences of that decision. And that is just about the best way to put it in, in all honesty, isn't it? And bye bye lovey says, not the arsehole. Sorry your parents are arseholes. Way to stick up for your little underage brother. Definitely 100% not the arsehole for cutting your parents off. Now, I turn this story to you guys. What do you guys think of this story? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to vote on that poll in the description for story one. And our next story is from No Longer A Doormat. Am I the arsehole for telling my stepdaughter to go ask her real dad when she asked me to pay for her plane ticket? I married my wife at least 12 years ago. She has a 16 year old daughter, Anna, from a previous relationship and we have a seven year old son as well. From pretty much the beginning of our relationship, Anna and I have never gotten along. I don't know how to emphasize that is not because of the lack of trying. She just does not like me. When she was young, she was scared of me and afraid I'd tear their family apart. Nowadays, it's more of a neutral dislike rather than a strong antipathy, so I suppose that's progress. Elise is a stay-at-home mother, so she relies on me for income. As a result, I pay for everything for Anna. Food, clothes, volleyball fees, field trips. I take an interest in their hobbies. I go to her games. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I try my damn hardest to be the stepfather I can. But it's so hard. Always giving me a curt one-word responses. Always having to have an attitude. She does things to get a rise out of me. Staying out late, reeking of booze. Always trying to sneak boys in typically rebellious stuff, but I always let her know I love her and I'm there for her in hopes of her shithead teenager phase pass. The opposite is true for her biological father. She adores him. Can't tell you why. He never goes to her games, always makes excuses for why he doesn't want to see her. He forgot her birthday last month and she cried herself to sleep. But well, anyways, Friday, I came to her room to check her phone and read her messages. Not a permanent thing, but she's been caught sneaking out twice in the last month, so this is her punishment. I asked for a phone, she says, no, I'm tired of you checking my shit, leave me alone. I tell her I'm not asking again and she goes, just fuck off already, you're not my real dad, you never have been, stop acting like you can tell me what to do, before getting up and slamming the door. Like I said guys, I'm tired, tired of the blatant disrespect, of being the verbal punching bag while still providing more for her than anyone else in her family. We haven't really talked since until this morning during breakfast. She asked if I could pay for her plane ticket so she could see her boyfriend cross state. Like I said, her mum doesn't work and her dad is a piece of shit so I normally would be the one to cough up the money. Not this time. I responded, go ask your real dad. I could tell she was hurt. Tears swelled up from her face and she excused herself from the table. My wife took me aside later and said my comment was extremely disrespectful. I said if anything's disrespectful is her treating me like a doormat and a credit card. I will no longer tolerate this treatment in my house. I told her we don't have to be friends, but she can at least be cordial to me or respect my position as an authority figure. She can find someone else to pay for her non-essentials. Am I the arsehole? Now I'm probably gonna be controversial in this one and I might be going for an everyone sucks here. I mean, the daughter does sound like an absolute little shite at the moment to be quite honest. Um, but obviously there's something deeper going on here. But at the same time, I think you doing stuff like checking her text messages as a punishment isn't going to really help matters. It's, it's just going to cement that that hatred towards you or whatever's going on towards you at the moment. But that is just my opinion on this one. But let's have a look at the comments below to see what they say down there. Not the arsehole, but you barely mentioned your wife, her mother. Why is she not handling this with her daughter? You've been in her daughter's life since she was four, as stepdad, and your wife has continued to let this fester. She's continued to let her daughter disrespect you and continue to mislead her daughter about her father's true character. This is all kinds of wrong. OP replied to this saying she's tried, but to be honest, she's not great at this type of stuff. She's a wonderful mum, but tends to just excuse the rebellious behaviour as she grew out of it. And like I said, Anna has been making progress. Black and Shredded says, not the arsehole, maybe your daughter can have a first hand look at how much her words can hurt. I think you should go to her, apologise, never mind the fact that she doesn't deserve it. You're the adult, be the bigger person, and set firm, fair and strict rules about her behaviour going forward. Tell her what you told us, that you don't have to be friends but you need her to respect your authority and at least be cordial to each other. Maybe ask her why she doesn't like you. Ask if there's anything you can do to support her better. And most importantly, remind her that you love her and will be there for her. Teenage girls are hard man. Keep trying, a decade from now she'll be grateful that you chose the high road. And Opie replied to this one saying thank you for this comment. I'm praying this is the case. God bless. And Jaden LM says, not the arse, where is your wife in all this? 
Why the hell is she letting your daughter treat you like this? One tall boy says, everyone sucks here. You're acting like a child to get back at a child. Her mother should have stepped in a long time ago. You need family counselling and individual counselling ASAP. Now, I'm going to turn it to you guys. What do you guys think of this story? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to vote on that poll in the description for story two. And our next story is from The Jelly Typewriter. Would I be the arse of a hiding a family heirloom so my dad can't give it to his fiancée? My great grandmother was an exceptional embroiderer. She would cover massive canvases. She never taught me, I taught myself later in life, but I loved seeing her work when we went to her house. She died when I was 14. A few years ago, my grandmother gave our family one of her final pieces for Christmas. It's been hanging in the stairway ever since. Last year, my father started dating this horribly toxic woman who in six months has destroyed my dad's relationship with all his children and grandchildren. In March, he abandoned the family home to my brother and I. We've been paying the mortgage and the rent for the last few years. Long story, to try and help him keep it. We, we've been working all summer to clean it before we move out in two weeks. I figured I'd take the picture. I embroider too. It's been kind of special to me, but two nights ago, my father shows up at the house saying he wants to give it to his girlfriend because he thinks it goes with the decor at our cabin. I said I wanted it and he said no. It was his to do what he wanted with. He left it here though. Would I be the arsehole for taking it anyway? It's my family too, and the piece means something to me. He just thinks it would look nice in his girlfriend's cabin. I know my dad will be pissed if it disappears, and I have places to keep it till I move, but do I have the right to take it, or am I just being petty? You know, when I was first thinking about this, I was going to be controversial and say, you know, you're the arsehole if you just take something that's not yours. But looking back, you said she gave it to the family, not specifically your father. So it's a family heirloom, not just your father's. So I, ha I think you have just as much right to, to take it rather than giving it to a girlfriend because it looks nice in the house, you know. I think heirlooms are very important, especially from someone that you've taken on, like you've taken on embroidering at the same time, you know. So it clearly does mean a lot to you. And I think that needs to be explained to the father. I'm not sure if you've gone down this road, but just like say to him, look, this means so much to me. I'd rather not, I'd rather it not go somewhere else and maybe come up with some kind of compromise. I don't know. There's got to be something similar somewhere in the world that you can purchase that will look just as good on this girlfriend's wall. But you know, bollocks, don't give it away. But that's my opinion. And let's go to the comments below to see what we can find. Dace Doll says, you're an arsehole if you take it, but listen, sometimes it's necessary to be an arsehole. This is one of those times. Take it and hide it now. Save the Squirtle says, not the arsehole, hide it and say it must have gotten misplaced. Your dad clearly isn't thinking clearly and his girlfriend doesn't deserve something her great grandmother made more than her grandchildren does. Mysterious System 680 says, not the arsehole, your grandmother gave it to your family, not to your father alone. I say that this gives you, your father and your brother equal say over what happens to it. This means that you and your brother get to outvote your father if you do not want a family heirloom to be offered up as a trinket to somebody who never met your grandmother. Actually, given that your dad abandoned the family home, leaving the embroidery behind, I would argue that he forfeited any right to a say on its fate. Ask yourself what your grandmother would say if she was here. Would she want you to have it or your father's fiance? And I don't think it can be said much better than that, really. So I'm going to turn it to you guys. What do you guys think of this story? What would you do in that situation? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to vote on that poll in the description for story three. And our next story comes from Throw in the Cottage. Am I the arsehole for telling my brother's girlfriend to stop freeloading? Throw away because some family members know my main. My brother June, 27 male, has been dating Carrie, 26 female, for almost three years now. She's from a country in Southeast Asia and they met when she was living here in the UK. She recently had to move back home in November because of some project she wanted to do, so they did long distance. Carrie returned by early March for a short holiday that got extended due to Covid. She's been staying with my brother ever since and they both work from home. I live with my parents and work from home. She's been trying to get home since March, but due to the complicated situation in her home country, she lives with her family and her grandma is very vulnerable health-wise, she has been unable to arrange a trip back home. Quarantine facilities are full, testing is unreliable, and her province has been in and out of lockdown for months that it's been difficult to arrange transport. I think she's exaggerating the situation, as people are already going on holiday to Greece, Italy, etc. here. She's a teacher back in her home, and has been started teaching online since classes resumed. 
She's receiving a salary, but it's a third world country. It's nowhere near what my brother makes. But my point of view is, since she's earning money, she should find a way to split rent with my brother. June earns a good salary that can support both of them, but it's the principle of the thing. I brought this up with June and he said that Carrie's extremely homesick, has been anxiously phoning their embassy like four times a week for repatriation, but they're just swamped. June says she pays for some groceries, but it's once in a while. I feel like my brother's being taken advantage of. She's earning a salary. She should pay rent or go home. She's not on holiday anymore. I brought it up with my parents and they said it's none of my business. I disagree. So I text Carrie that I've been uncomfortable with her treating my brother as an ATM. She was earning too and should contribute some to the household. She hasn't responded, but I received a nasty text from my brother telling me to leave Carrie alone. Am I the arsehole for asking my brother's girlfriend to stop freeloading? Through this story, you, you said that she isn't earning a lot. She's trying to get back home by phone, phoning the embassy several times a week. And you're still bothered by this. She's trying to get back home. She's trying her best, you know. And in the end, this is their relationship. It doesn't sound like she's being abusive or anything like that. She's just trying to get by. And in a relationship, you help your partner when you can. And it sounds like that's what your brother's doing and is happy to do that. So why are you that bothered? Butt out. And like the post said, she's extremely anxious. She's probably missing her family like hell, man. And then you're putting this pressure on her too. That makes you a huge arsehole in the situation, in my opinion. But let's go to the comments below to see what we can find. Claire Swin says, you're the arsehole. Your brother is an adult and he and his long-term partner have an agreement that works for them. Why is your view of any relevance? It's not your money, your home or your relationship. You overstepped hugely here. OP says they had an agreement for her to stay with him during her holiday, but a longer stay is different. Two to three weeks is so different from six months. Kerry Katora says, yes, and a global pandemic is trapping her there. How is it physically possible to be born with such a lack of empathy? And OP replies again, saying, I'm just calling BS on the whole pandemic reason. There's no way someone's still unable to fly back by now. I'm sure she's just looking to stay for free for longer. Like I said, people are already holidaying to Greece now, and I checked Skyscanner, flights aren't that expensive anymore. Holy shit, she's doubling down. <laughs> Macho Smango says, wow, you're the arsehole for sure. Why do you even care? Also, if her salary is so much smaller than his, she should absolutely not have to pay for half of the rent. That would be an incredibly shitty thing for your brother to make her do, and is generally not how adults in a healthy relationship handle finances. If anything, she should pay a fair percentage, but since your brother doesn't want her to, then it really doesn't matter. And of course, OP replies again and says, I agree she should pay a fair share, but their reasoning is that the currency her salary won't really do much in the UK, but her salary is still a salary, even if she gives my brother five pounds, lol. And my favorite comment is, Kate Lees 27 says, your parents are right, it's none of your fucking business. <laughs> You're the asshole. <laughs> <laughs> wow let me know what you guys think of this story in the comments below and don't forget to vote on that poll in the description once again guys thank you for being here today taking the time out of your day to support this channel is just amazing you just watching it is supporting this channel and i absolutely love you for it you're so wholesome you've been amazing your comments are amazing just thank you guys and i shall see you hopefully in the next one take care guys much love. Have a great day.